Hello my preschool friends and welcome to our circle time video for today. I have a lot of things to talk about so let's get started by singing our hello song. Hello my preschool friends, how are you? Hello my preschool friends, how are you? It's time to start our day, we're here to laugh and play. Hello my preschool friends, how are you? How are you all doing today? Well, I'm glad to hear it. All right, so let's go over our learning board and see what we are learning today. It is still our clothes study. So we've been learning about, this week we've been learning about um, parts of clothes and what clothes are, which we all kind of know, so it's mostly review. Today's date of this video is January 14th, 2021. Our three B rules are be kind, be persistent, and be you. And I know all of you are doing that at home, so I'm very proud of you for following through with our B rolls. Today's focus question is, does the tag in your shirt have a S, M, or L? So what does the tag in your shirt represent? So mine is right in the back, right back here. So you, you guys can find it in your shirts. Then does it have an S, which is a squiggle, an M, which is like two mountains, or an L, which is a line down and a line across. Which does yours have? Oh, let's check what mine says. Mine says XL, so that means extra large. Each of the letters that are in your tag means a size. So today we're talking about the size of clothes, specifically the size of clothes that you wear. You want your clothes to fit you, right? You don't want them too big. You don't want them too tight. You want them just right. So the S means a size small. The M is a size medium. L is a size large. And then XL, like my shirt, is a size extra large. So what do you think those sizes mean? Yeah, they mean smaller, somewhere in the middle, and then large. So just like our size sorting activity that we had this week, you can put the clothes in a small or a medium or a large grouping. So if I had a, let's see, if I had a large shirt, would it be bigger than or smaller than a size small? Yeah, it'd be bigger than. What if I had a small shirt? Would it be bigger than or smaller than a large shirt? That's right. So when we look at sizes, we can think of them as bigger than, equal to, or larger than. So if you're a size medium, if a shirt has an S, that'd be smaller than you. If it had an M, that'd be equal to your size. And if it had an L, that'd be greater than or bigger than your size. All right. In your packets, you do have a big, um, equal to smaller than larger than activity that you can do today but there's also the game find the letter so we've been learning about a lot of letters this year so in your packets there is a game to find the letters in your house so around your house there's a bunch of letters you might find them in books you might find them on posters you might find them on clothes like we just talked about so go around your house and see if you can find all the letters that we've learned or all of the letters of the alphabet. That's your challenge. <laughs> all right, speaking of letters, we have been working on this letter this week. Do you remember the name of this? H. This letter is H. H says, <gasps> can you try that? <gasps> um, the, la the other day that we talked about this letter, we talked about words that start with the letter H or the sound. <gasps> we did do you remember the words we came up with? Horse, we came up with horse. Yeah, and hose, we came up with hose. What other words start with the sound or the letter H? That is a good one. I'll have to remember that for next time. All right, so the last thing that's on our learning board is the story that we'll have in today's story time video, which is Llama, Llama, Red Pajama. So stay tuned for that video later today. 
All right, my friends, that is everything for today's learning board and today's circle time. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you in our next video, in our story time video or in our second step later today. Anyways, I'll see you then. Bye.